today I wanted to talk about quite a hard painting I had to tackle. I think it was difficult because there were so many elements to it like the butterflies, the moonlight background and especially the lighting on the portrait reference. I chose this facial reference especially because of the dramatic lightning as it would match with the moonlight I wanted to paint in the background. I chose separate reference pictures for the night sky and for the butterflies. So all I had to do was match it all together which sometimes can be a difficult task and you also have to wait till your painting is at least halfway done to check whether all your references seem like they are in the same atmosphere. At first I was quite confident and did the first rough layer quickly and told myself it is going to work really well. The second layer was nothing special either, just trying to see what colors look the best, making the proportion right and matching all the photo references together. I trusted the process at the beginning as I knew that the first stages of an oil painting can look quite ugly and I also knew that I always managed to overcome it and make it into a functioning painting at the end. The struggle started right here, especially with the nose. I started to overcomplicate it and I wasn't really feeling the flow. There is a lot of swear words floating in my head right now and my brush just wanted to be thrown out of the window. I don't think you will feel in the famous flow at all times when creating. Sometimes it stinks and you have to focus. At this point I kept telling myself, just focus, you can do it. You eventually make it into a lovely painting, just don't give up. I also remember I was really tired that day and my whole aching body just wanted to lay down and rest. But my brain was telling me, no, just push yourself through it girl, you got this. And as I know my personality, I would sleep better if I knew I made this layer somewhere near done. However, if you are too tired, just go to sleep, please. <laughs> After this difficult painting session, when I was finally in bed watching something and then I minimalized the window on my computer, the reference of the painting was just there and seeing it from the distance like that made me realize that I was overcomplicating the whole process, overmixing colors, etc. My reference was in a close-up during my early painting stages instead of just being zoomed out for me to be able to look at it as a whole. Anger splashed over me at this point and I just wanted to give this whole painting up and start over. And then I realized that a critical skill needs to be learned here, especially for an oil painting and that is working through obstacles and being able to finish the artwork even in a point of dissatisfaction. I needed to learn how to look at my painting with a critical eye Think about what needs to be changed, repainted, done differently, etc. And I think that this was the perfect moment when the piece was in its early stages with more opportunity to still change things around. Also, when I first got oils, as I was playing around with them, what I first had on the canvas was a mess and I managed to turn it into a functioning painting somehow. That always gave me a confidence to finish it. What I love about tackling these more complex paintings is that you go through so many emotions as one painting takes a while to finish. It's quite a journey and you just need to go with every single frustration, joy, flow, non-flow, anger, etc. Everything you feel in the days you paint is imprinted in every brushstroke. And now I was finally in the flow, enjoying the process so much and it felt so much easier as well. I was so happy I went through the hard parts and was enjoying everything about painting the face right now. This was my reward. I normally really don't like painting necks or at least find it not that enjoyable as painting face and other things. However, I absolutely loved painting this neck. As certain areas are easier for me to paint, like the face nowadays, I have more energy left to focus on other parts and I really made sure that the neck was properly done this time. It would be a shame not to give it extra attention as the lightning and the positioning are quite striking and it plays a huge role in connection to the face. 
Normally, you don't need to paint every single aspect of the painting in high detail. Sometimes I like to leave out some areas, non-detailed, to give it a balance. However, this time the neck just called for my full attention. This painting was supposed to be inspired only by moonlight, but as I was painting, I started to play around with red. It came along as a transition between the day and night, just a moment when the moon is already up, but the sun is still setting as the red reminded me of sunset or the dusk. The butterflies are taking the last moment of the day to dance. They are red as they are influenced by the sunset and have a slight moonlight shimmer on them. The dark shadows on the woman are influenced by the day and the highlights are influenced by the night. It came along as this transition. I actually find the turquoise and dark red combination in the clouds really interesting. And it also created this reverse effect that the light is the night and the dark is the day. That's why I love color. It can tell so many stories which it couldn't do only with a graphite. Well, maybe it could, but it would rather be limited. Once you actually touch color in art, you will open yourself up to so many possibilities. Color actually used to scare me as I thought it was complicated, so I would rather stick with graphite. But it is not really so complicated, or at least it doesn't have to be. If you properly organize yourself and don't use too many colors in one artwork, Learn the things like saturation, know that values are very important, it will become quite easy. With this painting I had the most struggle, however, I think it turned out to be the best painting I've ever made. So funny what can come out of frustration and pushing through it. Rather than avoiding it, I think we must stick to it and learn how to overcome it. I'm so happy I went along with this piece and most importantly that I was able to trust myself and my ability to take it to the very end. If there would be no struggle, this piece wouldn't be so meaningful to me, I think. So what's the message of this video? Just don't give up, it will eventually come out okay and you will learn a thing or two along the way. I know my painting skills are not perfect, however, I will keep learning, experimenting and having fun, because that's what it's mainly about. I also really liked the music in this video and tried to choose it accordingly to the changing moods and emotions of this piece. Hope you enjoy it too. I've linked the tracks down below so you could support the authors as well. Thank you very much for watching and if you'd like to keep connected, please subscribe. I will definitely do more of these videos later in the future. Oh and please press like. Bye!